So now we want to do our site plan on the worksheets rather than the model. So if we come over to our site plan worksheet, what we're going to do is we're going to define a smart view. And you can see that we've got everything here within our dialog box for our insert view. So basically, if I go down to the eye, the view filter, I can actually turn everything off there, display none. All I want to see is the walls and the roof for the ground floor. My elements on terrain, I don't want to see the terrain, I just want to see the site boundary. And then under notations, I want to turn off the drafting and the dimensions. Hit OK and you can see that's basically what I'm going to see. So I can zoom in on that. So I'm just turned off what I don't want to see and left on what I do want to see. So this is set to 1 is to 100. And actually, you can drop that down and drop it in on any scale you like. But we'll, we're going to try and see if we can fit it on, on 1 is to 100. So basically, just go insert and then drop it onto the page. Once it's dropped onto the page, we can now do our, our um, setback dimensions. Now, I use this one here, which is the align dimension, simply because if it is on an angle, it will give you a dimension that is uh, at right angles to the boundary. So if I use that one and go from the corner of the wall there, and what I tend to do is I go right click, snap overrides and perpendicular to there, and you'll get that little right angle sign. And then if I pick a point, you can see that that's my six meter setback and come back over here from that corner right click, snap override, and perpendicular to the side boundary, and that's one metre. Now we know the setback here is a metre, but it's actually from the house corner, and right click, snap override, perpendicular to the side boundary, you'll get that side boundary, which is 3950, and again, you can do one on the back if you wish to as well. So that's how you do your setbacks.